Welcome back, Hello. you sacks of beautiful people. You sacks. Uh, so we're going to be trying something a little bit different today. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys apparently wanted us to be uh, playing these games for a little bit longer, uh, so we're going to be trying out more of a, a more of a podcast format and just having having some fun there. And you guys wanted to see more Doki Doki, so we're going to make that happen. Yeah, and uh, last time we ended on Doki, uh, everything was great. Uh, everything was great. Enjoying high school, writing poetry, mm -hmm. uh, nothing weird. Uh... No, nothing at all. Now, uh, if you missed what happened last time, uh, we were going after Natsuki because this seems to be a dating sim so far. A lot of the comments uh, told me that it may not be, so I'm looking oh. forward to seeing what that means. Well, dating is never really dating, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, dating is really about your relationship with yourself, I would say. Well, that's um, interesting. Yeah. No, expand on that. Um, I would say... You know how you are with another person has to do with. How, oh, uh, what, oh, I'm sorry. I I have to, to uh, remind us all of Yuri's voice. Where is I was sick <laughs> last time, but mm, uh, Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I forgot to sit down and speak. <laughs> um, 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 um. Uh, it's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. <laughs> I just need to put my thoughts in the words. <laughs> just give me a second. <laughs> just give me, hold on. Are you, are you sure you're okay? There's no one else. You don't have to. I, <laughs> this is your first time writing a poem, right? Oh, my God. What is she about to say to us? Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you ask? <laughs> Cause it sucks. <laughs> I'm just making sure. Yeah, she's about to oh, lay the smack down. Have you ever had to break news to somebody that they like? Ah, you just need to be nice, but it's maybe nicer to let them know that they're not good at that thing. Have you have you ever told someone they're awful at something? Um, no, no, not in so many words. I've definitely had to like coach some improvisers and be in a very polite way, be like, "You're you're doing everything just so just really wrong." <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, improv is all about listening, and a lot of people don't, and they'll like, I, I remember I was like teaching this uh, class of teenagers at one point, and I was like, all right, so here's what happened. Uh, the second guy, oh, she's all confused. Um, this, <laughs> the second guy just dropped on your boat in the middle of nowhere. You've been stranded in the ocean for a week. Just deal with that moment. It was just like, you know, it'd be interesting to see them work that out. And so when I'm like, all right, ready, begin. One of them just looks at the other and goes, I have a green mustache. <laughs> and then the other one go, reaches for his face, and grabs what the mustache would be, and he goes, no, it's mine now! And I was like, all right, pause. <laughs> <laughs> who, who can tell me what, if everything, <laughs> was wrong? What? Can anyone tell me what the hell is happening? Yeah. How about you, man? It's uh, fine. I, really I don't, I'm terrible at telling people, like, the just the bold truth. I'm mm -hmm. so bad about it. And it's it's actually it makes me more of a jerk, I think. Really? I think I think it's much kinder to tell someone your honest opinion because you respect them enough to believe they can handle it. Whereas That's if you're true. if if you're going like, "Oh no, you're you're good." You're just letting them live a lie. But I see like even even with our friendship, it would take me a minute if I had to be like, "Dude, you smell like cheese and you've smelled like cheese for a week." I'm trying to I'm sorry. Are like, you trying to say? Are you trying to you say? no, you don't smell like cheese. Oh, look, it's Yuri. In other words, they tend to make a writing <laughs> style and separate it from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and expressiveness are weakened. Once, oh yeah, you you can read the the. It's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her st stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, then that's something you can be blamed <laughs> her for. Her stammering is completely gone. Look at, listen to it. <laughs> no stammering here. Wow, you sound so great suddenly. Wow. Take no problem. We gotta find it, build it, and put it together. So she's giving us some writing tips. That's nice. She's being very polite about it with her purple ass eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, baby, you're looking good with those purple ass eyes. Look at those Look. purple eyes. <laughs> Who's that? I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. That's Hello a, there. This is Barry White. Eyes. After I've had a couple of strokes. This is. I feel like this is a good opportunity for me to attempt my Alan Rickman impression. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, um, you know what? I I read Yuri last time, and this seems to be a Yuri heavy section, and I was Dane. So why don't you do Alan Rickman Yuri? Great. Okay. Here we go. Well, never mind. 
I shouldn't be talking about people like that. No, it's terrible. Potter. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 garbage. I should, See, Shane, I should stop. Shane and I are now like wearing headphones and have like really fancy mics in front of us. So we even talked about before this like, oh, we're gonna be able to do impressions and hear ourselves. And then we're like, oh no. Yeah. We're gonna realize that we suck at everything. It's, it's rough. Hearing myself is weird. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> I I would have a hard time with. I feel like I would have a hard time with dating sims because long conversations at a certain point, I'm like, all right, so like, you want to go somewhere? You want to like, uh, <laughs> are we going to yeah. like go I like to like a next, are we going to go to next class or something? She's like, no, I was telling you about my family and how growing up was really hard for me. <laughs> like, oh yeah. No. Okay, yeah. Can continue. <laughs> no, but, okay, but I kind of feel like you're not. I just, it's I just, no, it's, and yeah, no, 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 no. It's just, we've been here for like a half an hour. What's my dad's name? Oh, I told, I said it three times. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. Um, Grawled. Okay, you were listening. <laughs> <laughs> this is Yuri's problem. Very good. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my... Oh, sorry, I gotta read it as Yuri. Oh, wait, but you're Alan Rickman. Go for it. <laughs> the tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glass. Glow! <laughs> <laughs> it must be this one. The last remaining streetlight in love withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. <laughs> now add in a five points from Gryffindor. <laughs> five points to Gryffindor. Oh, there we go. I bathe calm breathing as of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers, Mr. Potter. <laughs> I flicker Potter. back. Potter. 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 It, right. it kind of sounds like a duck a little bit, too. I think it's pretty good. I think, you know what's interesting? Knowing that Benedict Cumberbatch is from the same area and actually also sounds like... This. Yeah, it's it's, like, so is there like a region? It's a regional affectation, Oh, yeah. I did not know that. It's called England. No, <laughs> no, there's, no way. <laughs> there's one specific spot. Um, <laughs> They're just all walking around with pipes. <laughs> it's like, oh. Uh, Every child is born with a pipe <laughs> in the mouth and a robe. <laughs> hi, hi, Timmy. How was school today? It was pleasant. Really? First grade is working out that well for yes, you? Yes, I learned how to color within blinds. That's delightful. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, son. Uh, but it took you a long time to read. Uh, yeah, well, just <laughs> I just... Just <laughs> looking I, at it for a <laughs> yeah. What if this game changes like with the time that you take? That would be really funny. That's what Nier Automata does. Did I tell you about oh, that? no. That's terrifying. So when you play the first time through, you're doing like a tutorial for a minute, and I like put the controller down while I was like adjusting light settings and all that stuff. You know, slide the slider until you can't see this picture anymore. And then all of a sudden, uh, second playthrough, you sort of get to, I'm not going to spoil anything, but you get to see that happen, but from somebody else's perspective. Tell me about and this. it took that long. Yeah. The time I took, put down the controller, like, oh, oh my God, it was so cool. That's awesome. Yeah. I usually write longer poems. Oh, Alan Rickman. Did you uh, just join I the usually, Vienna Boys I Choir? <laughs> I usually write longer poems. No. Uh, not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest, Mr. Potter, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Oh, does she like... Oh, she's the one that likes horror stuff, right? Ooh, that's she right. She probably is like, gore, gore, gore. When, she, I, when we first saw her poem, I was a little worried because like... I have a hard time reading cursive sometimes. Do you get really? Yeah. See, I, that's what Dane said just now too. He yeah. was like, "I have a hard time reading scripts." Uh, so I, that was. Yeah, he's like, "Oh, sorry. It was just. It was really dumb. Uh, your poem. Are, are you into ghosts, Yuri? Are you really that dumb? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, Shane Sade is written. <laughs> oh, ho, oh, ho. ho. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Courtney Miller. <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna ask about cursive? Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Dane. R really? I, I must have. No, uh, no. Uh, oh, he's hitting me. <laughs> I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it, after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symb symbolically compared to a ghost. Oh, she's so into her own. Oh, is writing. this some foreshadowing? I, yeah. Ooh, ooh, is she a ghost Li the whole time? Uh oh, lingering in the last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. See, this was all better than her poem. <laughs> this was yeah. All I'm like, hold on. Why didn't you write this this crap? Uh, that's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. 
Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing really. With being a kiss ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get out of here. Oh, sucks. Get out of town. All of well, it, just remember it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Ooh. Uh, yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. Do you want to make out? <laughs> yeah, I guess I do a little I'm bit. I'm counting on you. You, everyone else, you can stay or you can leave, but this is happening. Do you think there's a high school anywhere that's kind of like this? Even remotely? Uh, yeah. I'd say, if I had to guess, I'd say all of Japan. <laughs> <laughs> it, I, you, if if has media to, has taught me anything. There has to be, like, uh, I just assume, obviously not, but like, if I was a teenager and I was playing this game, and I think maybe when I was a teenager, I probably did to some extent assume, like, oh, is this what high school's like in Japan? Pro yeah, maybe. Because all animes and stuff, it's very much, it's this, like. I think there's just more freedom in what you do with your day, or like, uh, the delineation of like clubs and stuff. I don't know, it's interesting. It just seems like whenever there's a thing happening in a video game like this, and people are like, we're staying after school and hunting monsters, like nobody has a problem with it. Yeah. Like, now, Sayori, was she the one? She did not sound like Toad, she sounded like Sam Elliott. Right? Oh, yeah. Uh, this is a good poem, Dane. <laughs> uh, here, you, so you take Dane for this okay, one. Okay, I'll take I'll, Dane. Since I'm going to be Sayori. Are you sure it's your first time? Uh, of course. Why go overseas for your oil when there's good old American crude <laughs> what? in the ground? What are you talking about? I'm talking about fracking. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not. It's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Am I the kind of guy? Am I kind of the guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> well, I reckon you're right, but that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest. I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously since I coerced you into this club, or that you wouldn't run one at all. I'm really happy that you... Kind of reminds me how you're really part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of the club. <laughs> <laughs> it just starts bleeding right there. I'm like, are you are you all right? Uh, I'm totally fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm, that just happens sometimes. Uh, er, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, uh, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See, it's like I said before, Dane. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Uh, yeah, thanks, Sayori. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a really good person, Dave. Yeah, awesome. Thanks, I'm pretty dope. Uh, you're cool, too. <laughs> you know, I just had the dumbest moment, and I have to come forward. Um, reading that the name was Dane, I forgot that we made that a combination of our own names last time, and I was like, <laughs> Dane, wow, what a coincidence that it's a combination of Damien and Sh Damn it. <laughs> just <laughs> <Wait. sl> <laughs> Man, you know when you just, like, feel dumb, like, you know you're dumb? Uh, <laughs> uh, um... Uh, she's part of the reason I joined. Oh, yeah. man. Can't deny she's part of the... Uh-oh. So she's our best friend. But she's like, definitely our best friend. Maybe we should have romanced Sayori because, like, I don't know. There's so much history there. Sayori is super cute. Mm -hmm. She's mm -hmm. the human uh, uh, embodiment of bubblegum. Mm. Very much so. I can see that. Um, she also, again, wears scale mail, so she's very... Yeah, I think they all wear quilted, scale mail. Quilted scale armor. Mail. Really? It, mithril. Ooh, it protects their torso from handsome boys. Mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> yeah. From eligible bachelors. <laughs> bachelors. Uh, and I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? Is that okay? Yeah, no yeah. way of thanking you. And there's no kisses. <laughs> I'm just going to make sure you I have mean, no fun. kisses, but just a lot of high fives. All right, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay. <laughs> now you read my poem too, right? Oh, yeah, I got to go. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, all right. <laughs> Well, guess I'm going to be sad a bit. We'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds and the more... I don't... This is no longer Sam Elliott. <laughs> by any random southern person. Ah, uh, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning. It makes me feel like you miss me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. And drill for American oil. <laughs> Making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? <laughs> now it's Drake. I look above. I, I look the above. Sky the sky is blue. Is blue. <laughs> it's, it's a secret I trust you, you too. <laughs> Drake. <laughs> it wasn't for you. I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. And though you're lacking, I still love fracking. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic.
Uh, Sayori, this is just, I guess, but... Did, did you wait until this morning to write this? Oh, called out, oh, you procrastinator. Like, like, okay, cool. You procrastinator. I thought we were friends. You can't <laughs> answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. She just did, you idiot. She's like, why are you grilling me? Yeah, what's with the third what? What's with the well, third degree? I guess it makes me feel a little bit First, better. we were having a great conversation about fracking for oil. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're trying to call me a bad person just because I like fracking? Just because I kill a bunch of puffer fish in the search for American oil. American ocean oil. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. All you can drink. Y yeah, yeah. <laughs> All you can drink. Mm, delicious. Oh, man. We made her feel... Okay, now I'm glad that we didn't romance her because we're blowing it. We made wow, her feel bad. Wow, she hates us. And we didn't even get a chance to, like, say anything. No, it's not letting us choose anything. Maybe the fact that we chose Natsuki, we only have a positive interaction with one of these people because we wrote our toast. Now she's talking about her breakfast? What did you have even for breakfast? Even though you were late for school, it's bad to skip breakfast. Did you skip breakfast? I... Shane, did you skip breakfast? I did not. I had three eggs and some cantaloupe. Prove it. Wait, cantaloupe? The the D student of the fruits? What are you talking about? <laughs> it's the worst one. Why is it the... I don't know why it's that D student. It reminded me of family guy saying, like, fruits. the turtle, nature's D student. Nothing wrong with being a D student. You, everybody's smart in their own way. <laughs> I'm serious. Cantaloupe is delicious. Cantaloupe makes most why? people itch. What are you talking about? Does anybody else get itchy when you eat cantaloupe? Greg, do you uh, get... Sound man Greg. Nod yes or no. Greg You get hates itchy when you eat cantaloupe? cantaloupe and he gets itchy like a true American. I, I love... Dude, I can eat so much cantaloupe. I don't get itchy at all. What? It energizes me. Tell you what, you give me all the good fruits, I'll give you the cantaloupe, a.k.a. the leftovers of every fruit basket. I'm pretty sure in Yoshi's story, cantaloupe is the one that makes you go like... That's hardcore. correct, because it's a big deal in Japan. It's a nice gift in Japan. But here, it's common, so I can take it for granted, and I don't like it. Do you know how people give fruit to each other for gifts? And yeah, it's like I, a nice... I, I, I send my mom uh, edible arrangements. Oh, well, see, they, they do something interesting with the shape as well. They don't uh, cut them up and arrange it. They, they let them grow into, like, these certain molds. So you'll find a cantaloupe that's, like, literally perfect, and it's a, it's a big deal if you buy one for somebody. Or, like, a uh, watermelon shape, like a square or something Ooh, like that. I would be really happy with that. If, if someone gave me a fruit for, as, a, as a present, I'd actually dig it. Yeah. I love fruit. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's good stuff. Uh, I did Monica last time, um, and I kind of did, like, a... Wait, did I? Was she Sam Elliott? I can't remember. I don't remember. Why don't you pick a new voice? I'll go back to okay. me. Uh, <laughs> um, let's just go Christopher Walken on this one. <laughs> Having a good time, so far. Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you knew and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better. More candy. I'm always listening. More soda. Free recess. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? I'll uh, smack you in the face. <laughs> More members. None of them boys. Um, <laughs> uh, all right. I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better of just going with the flow. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, stop thinking. <laughs> Want to share your poem with me? Uh, it's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Well, it's about Natsuki. You know, your classmate who I chose. Oh, get oh. out! <laughs> <laughs> That's a quick turn. Just like a lean over, like ha, <laughs> ha, bend, <laughs> bend. <laughs> just dabs. <laughs> oh look, haters. <laughs> <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Get the haters! Get him! Get the haters! Don't worry, Dane. <laughs> We're all a little em embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier. We're all learn to get past soon. So here's the thing. Every, What's the thing? <laughs> every girl we've talked to so far has been kind of bashful, but yeah. like for a reason. Like whenever we've had an interaction, she's literally going into like blush bend over mode, like. When I was just like, yeah, I'm not sure I want to read my poem. And she's like, <laughs> she's like, does this not seem like a natural interaction to you, even given the rules that we've done? I don't know. Yeah, it's a little weird. I mean, but also I've never played a dating sim, so I don't know if this is just like normal. It probably is normal. Is I'm probably, probably reading into it, but still, just like, she's. I'd, I'd like to address, I, I, yeah, this is like the first dating sim. I don't know anything about 
dating sims or how they were. Um, so. I would also like to address that outside of Dream Daddy, which I played with you, I have also right. never played a dating sim. Yeah, I have Dream watched Daddy, people yeah. uh, play dating sims before. Okay. Yeah. On okay, like great. YouTube channels like this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hand Monica my poem. She looks dead behind the eyes. Like, mm hmm. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. She. Uh, I think it's just being offensive towards people with green eyes. Okay, all I'm saying is I the like green-eyed devils thing. need to go down. <laughs> uh, really, you green-eyed son of a bastard? <laughs> Whoa, it's a lot cuter than I expected. That's right, we did select words like puppy cheeks. <laughs> what are your favorite like nicknames to call like a significant other? I always go for like bones and cheeks. So I'm like, oh, sweet bone. bones and cheeks. Sw sweet sweet bones or like sugar face or like you know sugar face. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mm. like to go for rival. Mmm. Like you know, cause, what's up, rival? What's up, rival? Um, <laughs> who's better at kissing? Let's try. Let's try. Let's yeah, see. kiss competition. It's Lol. like we've been dating for five years. It's like yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we still don't know. This is the best one. <laughs> like, um, when are you gonna propose or? Try to move things further. Nope, just kissing. <laughs> I'll propose once you train more. Uh, <laughs> you haven't earned it. Uh, wow, are we if... both single? Yeah, we are. Wow, that's wow. You know, that's really weird. What weird information to just drop? <laughs> <laughs> just, just, hey, world. No. Hey, isn't that crazy? You know, you'd think you'd think with with us giving names to people like rival or cheeks and bones, yeah, that we'd be just swooped up by swooped now. Swooped up, you know. Too bad. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, she's actually talking about Shel Silverstein. I love Shel Silverstein. What has Shel Silverstein wrote? Written? He did uh, an entire anthology like Where the Sidewalk Ends. Oh. Um, you've definitely seen and heard all of this. Okay, stuff. sweet. Maybe, uh, maybe a long time ago. He's famous for telling all kinds of stories in just a few simple words. His poems can be funny and daring or even sad. And sometimes they're only a few lines long, you know. <laughs> Might even feel like they're written for kids, but if you think about them, you know, they can express views of the world that apply to anybody. I see. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that? Um, sort of. Maybe she's not an expert, but you probably won't find much filler in her poems. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. No, this is the one thing, voiceover-wise, <laughs> that I haven't booked. I haven't done anything, like, anime-based yet. And I really... The one anime I ever booked, it didn't end up getting translated into English. Like, it just fell through the uh, everything. So, but gosh darn, I just want to be... I want to do anything where, like, I get to just sound like, ah, uh, calm anime voice. <laughs> sure. Or, like... I don't know, anything where you call out your attacks, like, burning rave! Like, any, you know what I mean? It would be fun. Oh, I love, like, Demon Fang! I, the only, <laughs> the, the only anime voice I can do is, like, Krillin from Dragon Ball oh, Z. That, that's the, and so it's like, Goku, what do we do? That's pretty good. I like doing, uh, I like doing the, like, uh... <laughs> like, that, like, really... <laughs> Well, that's the problem. You're doing it in Japanese. I know, like, I know. Wait, we need English. Well, I don't know what the story's about, Shane. <laughs> I just know what I want, I want, which is like we. Detroit to smash. Oh, all might. <laughs> like, yeah. Texas to smash. Okay. Um, that's the best way to find it. Uh, <clears throat> that's yeah, the best way. Everyone else might be a little biased <laughs> towards their own kinds of styles, you know. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. It's know? a little condescending that they're all just giving us a ton of yeah, advice. Yeah, they're, they're all just kind of like, yeah, your poems are good, but here's yeah. how you do it. It's like and a... then he just starts laughing. <laughs> yeah, we both are. We're like, ha, 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 ha. What if you walked into a room and there's only two people just laughing at each other like that, aggressively, <laughs> just staring uh, at each other laughing You just hard. slowly back out. Like, oh, yeah, all right. Like, all right. Um, or you try to like, be that guy and run and be like, ha, 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 what are we doing? What are we talking about? It's funny to me too, but what is it? <laughs> like, uh, I'm that guy. That doesn't that doesn't mean I always find that way, you know. She doesn't feel confident. Oh, I see. Well, let's read it then. Let's read this poem. Hole and wall, it couldn't have been me. Say direction, the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. <laughs> I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. <laughs> No, I can't see a red blind. Wait, is that a real? I reel. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun. You know, like a film reel. Oh, wordplay. Wow. But it's too late. My retinas already <laughs> scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little late. 
I'm already but tired. It, but it's uh, it's a little hole. But it's a little hole. But it's uh, okay. Yeah. But it's just oh, a, it's yeah. just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep, stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize, oh. wow, what that I wasn't looking in. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out, <gasps> and he on the other side was looking in. Whoa, that's, that's deep. That's she just actually, tried. To, this is my that's my favorite poem. Absolutely, she tried to downplay it first. She's like, I'm not very confident. Don't even worry. And she blew us out of flipping water. Oh, I, we wrote like puppy cheeks, kawaii, rainbows. Oh, um, it's very uh, freeform, if that's what you call it. Yeah. Sorry, I'm I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. You know? Oh, here's here's the thing. Um, I'm gonna be braggadocious for a minute. Okay. Uh, back in my school days, uh, there was a poetry competition in our school every single year that went to like a county level and then like a regional level. Um. And it was recitation. It wasn't just like, you didn't write your own thing. You like said someone else's poem. And I won eight years in a row. <laughs> Wait, sorry, what? <laughs> yeah, I went to at least the county level, but like one for my school eight years in a row. And Your I poem that you wrote, but somebody else no, no, read? No, 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 no. I read the poem. It was written by either Edgar Allan Poe or- Oh, you and know, you were just reading whomever. poems better than anybody else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did anybody else <laughs> compete? Uh, yes, they did, but the very last year I could have competed, I didn't because I was like, I'm not, I don't want to do this anymore. You're bored, and I don't want to be a. You're like, I guess I could win again, but I don't want to. <laughs> well, I mean, we're all good luck, Cynthia. Things. Oh, <laughs> Cynthia was the worst one. Um, that's insane. Thanks, man. Um, I don't know what one does with that. <laughs> Can't yeah. put it on a resume. Uh, I can read the crap out of Edgar Allan Poe. Well, I did have to memorize it. The Raven? Yeah. Did you have The like Raven that. fully memorized? Uh, not fully, because it was a six minute limit, and you can't do The Whole Raven in a minute without uh, just like... Blah, 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 blah. But I did a couple different Edgar Allan Poe poems. Uh, Ula Loom was one, and then The Bells was the other. Mm. Um, yeah. His yeah. stuff is great. It sure is. He's so sad. <laughs> he's, a, he's a bummer town. <gasps> oh. He died on the street. Poor, he did he? <laughs> he did die on the street. Oh my god. Yep. Um. Oh. Not like penniless. Me. He like was found on the street dead. I'm not kidding. Full of money in New and fat <laughs> stacks. <laughs> <laughs> and an Uzi by his side. Dude, um, once upon a midnight dreary. Oh, get that. While I the, pondered weak and weary. The uh, bust over of many palace. A quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore. Get uh, out. Dude, while I nodded and nearly napping, suddenly there came this uh, tapping as of someone gently rapping, rapping. F at my chamber door. What's up? Funny thing, you can find online, there is a recording of Christopher Walken reading the whole thing. Wait, really? Yeah, reading oh, the whole Well, that's good. Yeah, just Google that. <laughs> Be, you're done yeah. with this video. Get now. out. Just, just Google that. Yeah, stop listening to us. Go listen to that. Why don't you go look it up on Google Maps yeah, why and navigate yourself go, elsewhere? Go get to Google. My favorite app is Google. Google Maps. It gets me anywhere I, I need to go, even if I don't know the way myself. Yes. After I'm done playing Flappy Bird, I, I get onto Google Maps. Oh, I love Flappy Bird. I like Angry Birds. I like uh, Perturbed Bees, mm. the knockoff game I made. Mm. This is sad here. Cow. Sad Cow. You ever play Sad Cow? It's Ooh. not an app. You just find a Sad Cow and you cheer it up. You look it up and you, you go, oh, hey, do your best. Do your best. Hey, you are a good cow. Hey, let's give that a shot. Oh, wait, no. Oh, uh, oh they're going to fight. Oh, man. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper like those darn redheads <laughs> sharing their perspective. <laughs> Does anybody have normal hair at this school? Uh, nobody has gingerly hair, if that's what you're asking. No. They read it in tandem. It's a cult. Yeah, this is sketch. Uh, oh, man. Sad smile and furrowed brown. Furrowed brow? What? Oh, you got you to gotta patty that Warburton. Yeah, what's with this language? <laughs> <laughs> I ended up I, <laughs> I ended up doing a Patrick Warburton impression as well on my like predictive text thing. Yeah. So my apologies because I know that's that's your thing. But no, no, it's not. There's no impression that's like my thing. You own that one. <laughs> I own Patrick Warburton. Well, basically, I'm doing my impression of Shane doing Patrick Warburton. Like but yours is yours is great because it's it oh, is shucks. different. Thank you. Oh yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. <laughs> Hers changes every time. I'm sorry, what What did you say, cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? The poem is called, <laughs> This is Not Cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically a Black Mirror episode. Turns out it was phone. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Did you see the Black Mirror where it turns out that technology? <laughs> technology. Scary. Uh -oh. I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? Uh, eh. Uh, you mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Wait, what was the line before this? Eh, let's try something. It's too late to apologize. I said it's too late. Eh. 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 It's too late. <laughs> eh. 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 What, what was that pitch room like where it's like, I think I know it's going to make this song better. What if I stand two rooms away? Well, <laughs> that was just Timber eh. Timberland's eh. thing for a eh. while. Oh, was it? I don't know if I ever heard any uh, other Timberland Timberland music. Oh, uh, you heard Timberland music because you were alive in 2005. I mean, I think I heard him featured on other things. Dude, I don't think I ever was like, oh, the Timberland like, song. Literally in 2005, like every song had Timberland in the background, just being like, uh, oh, I guess it's like Pitbull, where it'd be like the, yeah. biggity dang a diggity dang. <laughs> <laughs> like, <that's, laughs> I would always like. Mr. 305, one, two, three. <laughs> I just birthday, remember. Steven. Yeah, like we people make fun of music nowadays, but like there was the period of time when Sean Paul was like at the at the peak, oh, yeah. and every Some song was just like under the weight and time. Got to be me I got the right to fetch a fetch a to you from the storm. Oh, the little up 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 in the moon. Fart me Lennon, farty shorty naughty. First me Leonard, Sean the Filipino Sean T. Sean the. Farce me, Leonard. Farce me, Leonard. Philip Seymour Hoffman, Shanti. Uh, just bring it down real quick. Rest in peace, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Favorite actor. Um, uh, no. My, but I, I, I like the CGI version in the last Hunger Games. Uh, anybody? Wait, is, he, is he CGI'd in the... Well, they had to finish up the scene. He passed during filming of the final Hunger Games. Oh. So, yeah, he. Uh, they did definitely have to do that. Wow. It's a bit of a bummer. Oh, whoa. Yuri's bringing up us to Natsuki. They're in a fight, and now Natsuki's all... Oh, look at that face. Just bow. Just socks her in the face. She literally Who looks like an anime fight? when someone's like, I ate your mother. And it's like... <laughs> Who would win in a fight? Like, uh, Natsuki is, like, you know, smaller, but I feel like she's quicker. Uh, yeah, but Yuri's got the reach, man. Yuri does have the reach. And if, if they're not trained fighters, they're both using the arms, and the yeah, reach one right. is going to take it. I didn't realize, uh, yeah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I... <laughs> <laughs> you just they both just like their skin just falls off and then just like fully grown men just come up and they're just like oh weird well that's kind of apt for probably how this game was made yeah I don't think I don't think oh, a woman had a hand in writing something like this where it's like alright so there's these five girls they're slobbering over this guy who has nothing to offer yeah. it's like, I don't, who's I don't, literally just confused that's his time. that's his trait confused She's using me as fight fodder. Huh. And do you, how do you know he doesn't uh, didn't appreciate my advice more? So both both you guys just dye your hair or what's what do you oh. So like okay yeah no all right. No. <laughs> I was full of myself. I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I choose over the cutesy. Uh yeah, I think it's more of an ooh. 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 Uh, um uh, oh no Sarah, get out. Of here. <laughs> Oh, is, it, is everyone okay? <laughs> well, you know what? It. Is everyone okay? Everyone cool? Well, there's nothing funnier to me than just like those like quick footsteps up until like just. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Actually, I think your uh, VR chat episode uh, is going to be out before this, and that happens. Oh, does? <laughs> yeah, that's how you open it oh, up. Oh, that's how I open it up. That's right. <laughs> Hey everybody! Oh, hey guys! <laughs> um, oh yeah, uh, why don't you, uh, walking it up? <laughs> um, Natsuki, that's a little... <laughs> it doesn't involve you! Oh my fun. <laughs> oh man, they both just noticed. Uh, they're trying to make- oh man! Oh, you got- they're gonna ask who I wanna think is correct. Uh-oh. And we're gonna have to make the choice, the hardest choice of our life. Between Yuri and Natsuki? I go with Yuri. But see, Natsuki is who we chose first episode, oh, right, so that's, that's who we right. wrote the poem for. But I, honestly, after I watched it back, Yuri is kind of cool, and she likes horror movies, and I like Yuri horror movies. Yuri is cool, and uh, Natsuki's kind of scary. She is. I, I feel like she's overcompensating. She's got that Napoleon complex. Mm, yep, she's that's a real like, thing. Because I'm really short, that I don't give a crap. It's just like, okay. That is a thing. 
actually. I've uh, I've known a couple people on the shorter side of things who were like, I was like, why are they being really aggressive? And I'm like, oh, I guess they sort of like, they feel that they need to stake their claim in a different way other than just taking up physical space. You can't just stand it's there. True. If you're like pecs out, you gotta true. make yourself known elsewise. So I get it. 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 Uh, you know what, man? We've been doing this for almost a half hour. I think it's about time for our uh, new segment that we were going to have. Oh. Uh, we're going to specifically do uh, some advice every week. Uh, we asked you guys... Oh, man. Well, should we make the, the choice? Yeah, man. I'm. Mm, we started out for Natsuki. <sighs> I, I, I'm, I'm done to switch to Yuri. Yeah? Let's switch to Yuri. Okay, let's do it. Uh, I'm go let's go with Yuri. Yuri is correct. What? You're right that I liked your poem. Wait, that's not an excuse for you to be so mean. That's true, she's being uh -oh. rough. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. It's not what happened at all. Yuri your, your wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Oh, man. Mm. I understand. Yuri, you're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still better than you. No, they're still putting feelings into it. Were we choosing who we liked more, or were we choosing who to I mean, I think, given the nature of this game, if you have to choose between these two in a fight, you're basically choosing who you're gonna romance. <gasps> oh, there we go. All right. Oh, so, and yeah, anyway, we're gonna be doing a... Let, let's finish up this bit yeah, real let's, quick. Let's and then see what happens here. I see. I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. Uh... But not Suki, you took- Man, we don't have to drive it home, dude. But not Suki, you're just the worst. You're, yeah, oh, you're a bad person. I, look, you I don't want to be mean bad. here, but you're the worst person. But I was just trying to- Get my... out. But can I please- Natsuki, just... yeah. look me in the face. Okay. You suck. Look, I don't want really to. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt your feelings, Natsuki. You, you but are. You are the worst. Oh God. Look, oops, spilled my coffee on your shirt. Oh God, it burns. Yuri would definitely try to attack Natsuki. Man, we are all jumping on top of Natsuki right now. <laughs> They're all like, yeah, Natsuki, you're the worst. We all agree, you're the worst person. Man. Yeah, I feel bad for her because, like, I, I understand conflict resolution. Yeah, see, I even end up feeling bad for it. Like, nobody took her side. <laughs> wow. wow. This is brutal. This club is not, like, fun. No. It's all about literature and nerdy stuff. No, I'm just kidding. I love literature. I, I, I love books and all that. Oh, man. That's anyway, she is banished to the nether. I just farted, Shane. How do you feel about did that? Did you fart? I did. I didn't hear it. No, I had it, headphones was, on. it was a very, very powerful fart. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, did she get banished? No, oh, she, but she's, she, left. she stormed out. She and threw, Whoa! She threw her... Oh, that's sunlight. Oh my god, it looked like her nails were like... <laughs> um, okay, so uh, with Natsuki banished to uh, the Netherlands, mm -hmm. Um, we're gonna be doing some advice today. So, uh, we went through on our Twitters, you guys sent us some advice, we asked for it. Uh, let's take a look, let's take a look. There we go. Heard that one. Oh, eh? I heard that fart. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Can we just edit so that just the fart is heard? In uh, that little span? Can we hear it three times and every time Shane curses, uh, he also, uh, just makes a fart noise. I never, I did not curse. I know. I don't, you I farted, don't ever curse. I never curse. You farted a lot. I never once. Our first, our first bit of advice today comes to us from at Bailey Whelan. And Bailey wants to know what it's like uh, to be in love or a relationship. Um, and she also brings up that, you know, being almost 22 years old and not being in a relationship, how should, you know, someone feel about that? Um, what's that like? So what, what's your take on that, Shane? Uh, for one, you shouldn't feel weird about being 22 and not having exactly. been in a thing. Because I, I was 22. Uh, when I got into my first thing, yeah. uh, and before that, you know, it's really once you're into a thing, you're like, oh, it, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's not like, oh, just because I hadn't. It's a quick learning thing, of, and it's like I said, being in a relationship is much about exactly. your relationship with yourself. It is. I mean, even if you're given a hundred percent, that is fifty percent of a functional relationship. So, like, first of all, you should not judge yourself based on if someone else has called you pretty or not before. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just focus on yourself, build up yourself, and honestly, the first person that comes along and says, "Oh, I love you," you don't have to go with. It's important to, like Shane said, focus on a relationship with yourself first. Look, I was nineteen when I had my first real kiss. I didn't get into a real relate. I mean, I was in a short relationship then, but like, I didn't get into a real relationship until I was like twenty-two. 
22, 23. Like that's that's so normal, you guys. Mm -hmm. it, especially yeah. nowadays, right? I feel like nowadays it's it's different. I feel like uh, yeah, I feel like people are it's, it's they're getting older before they're in things. Um, yeah, and uh, even if you watch movies from the nineties, it's like what you never had a girlfriend in high school. You never kissed a girl in high school. I'm like that's pretty gosh dang normal. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot more like, normal now. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's just not a big deal. Uh, it's once because once it happens, once you're in a thing, you're not going to be like, oh, people are going to judge me because I wasn't in a thing until I was. No, they, yeah, it exactly. Matter. Nobody cares. Everyone's going to um, be like, hey, did you hear that that person's in a relationship now? They've arrived. They're an adult like us. Lol. Yeah. It's not. No. Nah. And a relationship, literally, like it comes down to just your listening skills and communication skills and compromise. Uh, yeah. You you keep offering. Here's what I need, and the person says, oh, I need that thing too, or. Uh, I need something different. Let's find something in the middle, and then if you can't, yeah. you break up. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a middle ground between like listening to someone else's needs and and giving that, and then also being aware of what you need and what you want, and not uh, sacrificing too much of yourself. Um, yeah. So it's finding that balance. That's all it really is. It's That's all it's it is. simple. And also, like when you're in that position, uh, I think it was Bailey who had said that uh, d don't don't put so much pressure on like when you have a date or get a date or whatever that it's got to work out there's no. dating you just go and meet people yeah. and if you're not interested you don't go on a second one yeah that's how it, it goes it's totally fine and just just be yourself have fun and uh if it doesn't work out it's fine it's totally fine there will Absolutely. be another date i really think i people it, it gets said so much that it becomes cliche the whole like you can't love someone else until you love yourself but it's when you're true, when you're man. on your own, be focused entirely on what you want. Don't be trying to find someone. Exactly. Because if you are, then it's not. You're never gonna find it. The We're second, just not gonna be happy with it. You'll second, find something. But the second you stop and you are just like, I'm gonna focus on myself and my life. That's when things yeah. happen. It really, it's so true. Absolutely. Like, sign up for those classes you want to do. Like start learning a new skill. Yeah. Start, and start, then you know what? Like as you do those things, the people that are going to fall in line with what you're trying to do with your life anyway are going to be there. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um. I think that's solid advice, man. Thanks. I think, uh, yeah, yeah. It took us a while to learn that too, so don't don't worry about it. Uh, you guys, this was a solid first episode. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this new format. We're having a great time with it. Uh, it's nice having these mics right here and everything. Yeah. Um, but we're gonna see you guys next time. We're gonna keep playing through this uh, this year uh, Doki Doki Lit Rutcher Club. Yes, the Doki Doki. I look forward to share with you. Goodbye. Bye. Hey, bye. 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 See you next time. Goodbye. Bye. Mr. Potter. Potter, I will see you Potter. next time, Mr. Potter. Mr. Plumbus. Mr. Potter. Mr. Plumbus. Um. Hey, I really hope you guys enjoyed our return to Doki Doki Literature Club, because this is a lot of fun for us to do. Uh, in fact, we're going to be coming back to it later, so stay tuned. If you want to see last week's Damien and Shane show, where we took you to Tomato Town, click this video on the left. Otherwise, this video on the right was picked out just for you, by YouTube, your best friend, and mine. <laughs>